What does it take to be an Olympian? He's a double Olympic champion. Strength. So when Barry steps up. Perseverance. A new meet record. Belief. She came here ranked world number two. I'm one of the best hammer throwers of all time, and I'm proud to be a U.S. Olympian. But you want to know what I think about racial injustice in America? It's <laughs> the Olympic Charter has a rule that bans athletes from protesting at the Olympic Games. If we protest, they punish us. That's what happened to me. So last summer at the Pan American Games, I threw 74 meters and I won gold. I remember the medal was so heavy and so real. I was excited, I was nervous. In that moment when the national anthem was playing, I knew that the national anthem did not speak for people like me in America. The freedom, liberty, and justice for all, it is not for black people. Something came over me, I raised my fist. I felt like I was not at peace with myself if I had not said something or did something in that moment. Hammer throw gold medalist Gwen Berry raised her fist. Raising her fist. Raised a fist to protest social injustice. This is my letter. Dear Gwen, this letter will serve as a formal reprimand from the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee. Additionally, the USOPC considers you to be in a probationary period for the next 12 months. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that does not make sense to me. <laughs> so rule 50 is a rule in the Olympic Charter that states that athletes cannot demonstrate any type of political, religious, or racial propaganda in the field of play or on the podium at the Olympic Games. Raise a fist or take a knee, it's not allowed. Here are the IOC board members who are enforcing the rule. So the idea of white people telling black people exactly what they can and cannot say or do is exactly why I protested. The IOC's logic behind Rule 50 is to make sure everybody comes together, everybody is kumbaya, let's just stick to sports. It's ridiculous because there is no such thing as just sticking to sports. Every Olympic athlete has fought for something or believes in something. Of course we can protest outside the Olympic Village, but who will see that? No one. The whole world sees when we protest on the podium. I did something when it was not popular. I did it because genuinely this is how I feel. Genuinely this is how I lived my life and I'm tired of it. The Olympic Committee is on the wrong side of history, but not for the first time. During the 1968 Olympic Games, John Carlos and Tommy Smith raised their black fists in the air. Just like me, they were punished. And now on November 1st, that same committee will be inducting these two men into the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Hall of Fame. I guess better late than never, huh? It's hypocritical. The International Olympic Committee, they love the stories. They want to pitch, oh, well, this athlete grew up without a father. Or this athlete grew up in the ghettos. This athlete had to go without food for months and months. But as soon as the athlete is the best athlete in the world, they say, oh, no, you can't talk about um, racial discrimination in black and brown neighborhoods. Oh, that's not for you to talk about. But that athlete is literally a product of the system. It's hypocritical. Because here I am, a black, broke woman saying, that what they're doing to other black people is wrong and I was punished for it, I was disgusted. I just couldn't believe it. We, the National Football League, admit we were wrong for not listening to NFL players earlier and encourage all to speak out and peacefully protest. Other sporting bodies are finally confronting their past and allowing players to protest. Major League Baseball players spent opening day sending a message, Black Lives Matter. NASCAR banning the display of Confederate flags at all events. Thomas Bach, I know you want to keep the Olympics a place of harmony and focus solely on sports. You demand athletes like me to push past our limits and strive for excellence. It's time for you to do the same. 
you need to get rid of Rule 50 and come up with something else. Standing up for what you believe, pushing for impossible dreams, that is the Olympic spirit. I'm ready for Tokyo 2021 and my next podium. And when I get there, I want to be able to raise my fist and my voice without being punished.